Good morning and welcome to another Fast Tracks webinar. I'm Colin Jorgensen, your host for today. I'm a new media designer here at Fast Track Solutions. This morning we'll be showcasing our premium feature, FTX Uplift, the harmonious union of Fast Tracks POS and FTX digital signage to generate impulse sales at the register. Fast Tracks webinars are a weekly event and happen every Friday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where we will go over all the aspects of Fast Track software. You can preview and sign up for all upcoming webinars, as well as view all previous webinars by going to our website, goftx.com, and choosing FTX Lifeline at the top of the page. Then scroll halfway down the page and choose the View Webinars button. You can also take the more direct route by just typing goftx.com slash webinars into your browser. You can sign up ahead of time and watch it stream live, or you can watch any previously streamed and recorded webinar in our archive at your leisure. We here at Fast Track Solutions are working hard to build a comprehensive video resource library of webinars, and we encourage you to watch our videos as many times as you'd like, pause, take breaks, take notes, and absorb them at your own pace. If you're unfamiliar with FTX Uplift, you can watch our previous video, shown here. Uplift is a tool that'll help notify cashiers and customers at the point of sale that there's a discount, promotion, or impulse buy upsell based on the contents of their purchase. Specifically targeting add-on sales, making the customer aware that there's a promotion or discount they might not have known about and may be interested in. And it gives them the ability to add it onto their purchase, not only by showing them a visual two-dimensional representation of the object or discount, as represented by pictures, numbers, and words, on the customer-facing tablet at the register, but also audibly by the clerk being prompted to read a brief script about the upsell on the clerk-facing screen, initiating a face-to-face -face interaction with the customer on a human word-of-mouth level. It can, in effect, turn your cashiers into commission-based salesmen. As you can tie spiffs to these uplift campaigns, which would incentivize clerks to persuade customers. SPIF is an acronym for Sales Performance Incentive Fund, Sales Performance Incentive Funding Formula, or Special Pay Incentives for Fast Sales. It's essentially a financial term that encourages a sales representative to sell a specific item or group of items. The term is often used as a synonym for the word bonus. Let's get into some of the prime features of FTX Uplift. Create scheduled uplift campaigns that automatically apply discounts or promote items when the UPCs you designate in Control Center are scanned at the register. Craft a sales pitch for your cashiers through an informative pop-up on the POS. Ensure a consistent message relating the details of special discounts and promotions is delivered to all of your customers across your retail chain. Gamify your promotions by giving your cashiers the option to win or lose the upsell. Track each employee's success by store or across your entire retail chain to create friendly competition that encourages employees to make more sales. Spiff employees with a dollar amount or percentage of each upsell they make. Your spiffs can create contagious enthusiasm that'll get your customers excited about your promotions. Stunning advertisements on your customer-facing displays will educate and entice customers to take advantage of your specials. Our ad pro designer Steve Chin is back to help us set up an uplift in FTX Control Center. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to open up our admin dashboard in the Control Center at FastTracksPOS.com and hit over to the left side here in your toolbar. We're going to go up to signage, the first thing, and down to uplist, which is the second to last thing under signage. It's got that little thumbs up, and we're going to create an, a new uplift. So we're going up to the upper right in the green button, clicking Add New, and now we're going to name our uplift. We're calling this uplift Sweetly Savings. And we're going to start it on October 14th and let it run until the end of the year. You could start it at any date and end it at any date. It's all up to you. So the, the next box is called Clerk Message. That's the script. So when a trigger item that you've set up is scanned, 
this message will display on the screen in front of the clerk. This is the script that you want your clerk to read to your customer. Having something easy to read and easy to communicate the information is important because it's going to help your employee deliver the message correctly. This is that word of mouth I was talking about earlier. Your clerks will be your best salespeople when they have a script. The clerk is going to say, if you purchase a box of tea, you will receive $1 off a box of Sweetly Stevia. Would you like to buy a box of Sweetly to get the discount? The next section is called customer message, and this is what will show up on the customer facing tablet. So if you're designing an ad that's going to be going on that tablet that you want to pop up, then you want to leave this box completely blank because otherwise the type will come up over your image. If you'd like to create art that you can change uh, just a certain element of it, say you had a, a piece of art and you wanted to say $1 off and then maybe on another day it might be $5 off, um, you might leave part of your art blank so you can change the type within this message and it will update on the screen over the art. But if you just have art and you don't want type kind of hovering over it, just on top of it, leave that box blank. Now we're going up from details to options. So there's a whole bunch of options that you can assign to your uplift. First is the trigger value. The trigger value is how many of a product do you want to have to have scanned before it triggers the uplift? So we're going to say you need to scan one box of tea to trigger the uplift for Sweetly Stevia. Next, you assign a spiff amount. So that's the amount of money or percentage of money your clerk will be receiving for upselling. We're going to make it 50 cents. So on a dollar upsell, the clerk will be getting a 50 cent spiff. You can also make a minimum quantity for the spiff. So we're going to say one. The clerk just has to sell one box of Sweetly Stevia as an add-on when someone buys a box of tea. That'll trigger the spiff. The discount amount is the amount of money the customer is going to be saving, and that's the amount of money that you're indicating in your uplift ad they will be getting off of the product. So we're going to say a dollar. You can assign a discount dollar value or percentage to give the customer. You can apply the same discount to all items or just a single item in the UPC list. We're going to say a single item. We're clicking auto win yes. When we say win, we're talking about a successful conversion from someone buying just one product to the upsell. The clerk and the uplift have convinced your customer to buy the second product. That is considered a win. Now, if someone comes to the register and they already have tea and Sweetly Stevia with them, they're buying both, the uplift ad will not appear because you're already making the purchase to receive the offer. This will be considered an auto win and the clerk will get the spiff. The auto win is set at one. So if all it takes is one box of Stevia and one, one T and that'll be an auto win. Lock is to limit who can adjust the settings. So we're not locking it because we're the only ones adjusting the settings. Now well, let's go up to item management. Here you can select the list of items that you want to trigger this uplift message. For example, if a customer buys a box of Lipton tea, a Sweetly Stevia pop-up ad will ask the customer if they would like to purchase Sweetly Stevia and save $1. That would be an individual trigger item. When you click Manage on the trigger items, it'll pull up your Manage filters. You can search your item list, and you can decide which items that you sell that you'd like to apply to this uplift. So we're going to type Lipton Tea, and there's some Lipton Tea, and we're going to click on the different Lipton tea bags and click the little green button and now they're part of the selected list. We're also going to click the Mighty Tea Leaf. We're going to make this any box of tea so we're going to click every tea that we have and click the little green arrow in the middle and send them over. All right, so we've got three different types of tea here. Now we're going to click the UPCs of the items that are going to be discounted based on making those purchases. So any, any of those three teas being bought, being scanned in at the register, will trigger these uplifts. So 
those two boxes of Sweetly Stevia will be triggered. The 120 count box, the 250 count box. All right, so let's go to the manage locations. We're going to manage locations and we're going to say all because we want to make this effective on all of our registers at every one of our stores. You can also select individual locations. And now we're going to choose advertisements. So we've already created an advertisement that is the size of our uplift screen. You can create this in ad pro or you can create it in Photoshop or however you want to create it as long as it's the correct dimensions. And now we're going to save. Terrific. You've created a successful uplift promotion. Now let's see how that would work in the real world. Let's walk through a realistic scenario based on the campaign we just created. Welcome to Tea Time, our fictional house of teas. Let's suppose a customer is buying a packaged unsweetened green tea. They might also like a natural sugar substitute, such as Sweetly Stevia. Upon scanning the item, the customer's uplift tablet would display the impulse buy upsell advertisement of Sweetly Stevia, noting that he or she would save a dollar off of their purchase of a box. The clerk's monitor would display a brief script such as, if you purchase a box of tea, you'll receive $1 off a box of Sweetly Stevia. Would you like to buy a box of Sweetly to get the discount? The customer, needing a sweetener anyway, decides to impulsively save money and have the clerk add a box of Sweetly Stevia to their order, saving the customer a dollar and earning the clerk a spiff of 50 cents. That's a win-win-win all day long. A win for the customer who got a deal, a win for the clerk who earned a spiff for their salesmanship, and a win for your business for selling more products and making more profit. With Uplift, you can turn one or two items into three or four because Uplift generates impulse purchases. And when you generate more impulse purchases, you generate more profit. Well, that's all I intended to cover today. We hope you've learned some new things and that you're now more familiar with FTX Uplift. We reintroduce you to the FTX Uplift Premium Add-on we went over all of the premium features. We explained how spiffs work and what they are. We walked you through setting up an uplift through Control Center and showed you how that would play out in a real world scenario. To get this add-on to your existing FastTrack POS service, you can contact any FastTrack support analyst to get pricing and go over what all is involved to adding it to your business. As a reminder, these Fast Tracks webinars are weekly events that happen every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can view all upcoming webinars by heading over to our website, goftx.com, and choosing FTX Lifeline at the top of the page. Then scroll halfway down the page and choose the View Webinars button. You can also take the more direct route by just typing goftx.com slash webinars into your browser. This will load all our previous webinars where you can watch the recordings as well as upcoming webinars with options to sign up for them. I hope everyone has a great weekend and week, and I hope you join us next week. Special thanks to Steve for the design and digital walkthrough.